Hello, today I am going to try out an add-on called Buildiform Instant Bash Relief Maker for 3D. This is an add-on for a program called Blender. Blender is an open source free program you can use. Um, Blender Market sells add-ons uh, which enhance different features and add new features to Blender. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. Um, I paid for this, I decided it was something I wanted to try and something that would be useful for me and I wanted to support the developer, which I always try to do. So uh, I'm not going to go through all this, you can read that in your own time I'm just going to demonstrate what it does so it uses uh, algorithms it's not using AI or anything like that but basically it makes height maps um, from 3d objects that you import into blender so I've got my 3d object uh, it's a squirrel I made uh, using ZBrush some time ago and I posed it in ZBrush. Uh, quite a simple pose, so I didn't think rigging was necessary. Um, so once you've got your model imported, and that was done by going to File, Import, OPJ and then finding it, um, you, if you haven't got this menu open, you press N on the keyboard and then you find a tab called, oh, well you have to have the add-on installed first as well, but they have got documentation on how to do that. Um, I don't really want to go into that, but you would go into preferences and then add-ons and then install from disk and find it. And that's, that's pretty much all you have to do. So once you've got that installed you select your target what well, you you can sort of position it in the viewport how you'd like it. Uh, select it here and then set camera. Um, I want a square camera so I'm going to change this to that um, I'm going to position it how I like it now I did find with this uh, so if you press set camera it will fill the frame it it must be doing a something like this so it's aligning the view and aligning it to selected or something like that so it's the camera is uh, at the edges but I did find that um, it's better if you have a little gap so it's not touching so I reduced this just to zoom out a bit um, method 2 and kernel approach seems to be the best for detailed objects um, what you can also do is right click on the object and set shade smooth because that will that will affect the result you'll get rid of any jagged polygons so basically this is the default setting method 2 and kernel approach um, there is a method one. I, I don't think it's quite as good as method two. I did try it. Um, and this Fran Franco Shell Lapper. Uh, well, it says it's better for simpler objects. I did, I did try it in a different test and it wasn't quite as good as this kernel approach. So I'm going to leave it on that. So then I'm going to press this button, generate bus relief. Uh, 
and it takes a little while and it's going to be making um, the object file for me which I don't really need but another thing I found is it's better to set this to linear rec 709 um, you can set the strength so you can make it into a recessed version or a raised if you press shift and on this you can use finer controls so that's that so what this is actually doing is it's supplied some modifiers to uh, I suppose this must be a subdivided plane um, so that's the displace with the height map applied and then it's got a smooth modifier on it as well so it smooths it out a bit so once you've, you're happy with those settings, you just press Supply Settings and that applies all the modifiers. And then you can export that as an object file if you want. Um, if I go into Edit Mode, uh, I can see that that's quite dense geometry, so... That's how all the detail is being done. And I've got the height map image, which I can export if I press this button here. So I, I did do a few tests previously. I um, actually did one with this model as well. So just going to export that and that's an image now and that's it, that's uh, that's what the add-on does, it's easy to use, it's uh, very fast and I think it's a very good result. So thank you for watching.